Our next presenter is Dr. Xiaoding Hu of UTMD Anderson. Uh, this will be GS508, soluble e cadherin a novel prognostic biomarker and driver of brain metastasis and inflammatory breast cancer. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's my great honor to speak here. Today, my topic is soluble ectahari, a novel prognostic biomarker and driver of brain metastasis in inflammatory breast cancer. Oh, okay. First, I will introduce, uh, give you an introduction of inflammatory breast cancer IBC. IBC is rare, uh, accounting only one to five percent of breast cancer in the United States. But because it's so aggressive, it accounting for a dis disproportionate amount of overall breast cancer mortality. Cl the diagnosis is based on uh, uh, clinical criteria present in the pictures. Also, IBC patients all have a high risk of de developing central nervous system metastasis, especially in stage four IBC patients. Around 42 patients will have brain metastasis in five years. The five years over a five year survival curve is remains uh, remains really low, partly because of the high risk of brain metastasis. Why we feel interesting in soluble ikatahari? This is because based on all our previous study of ikatahari, we reported that ikatahari plays an oncogenic function in IBC. This leading us feel interested in soluble ikatahari. What's the relationship between soluble ikatahari and ikatahari? Actually, soluble ikatahari is the extracellular domain of ikatahari. It has been reported that high levels of soluble ikatahari can be found in the patient's serum uroplasm, and also high, high levels of soluble ikatahari are associated with poor prognosis in multiple tumor types. So we are thinking that solo victory may be play a very important role in IBC brain metastasis. So uh, we, first we first want to know whether solo victory uh, expression level is associated with malignancy of IBC patients. For this purpose, we analyzed the 348 IBC patient serum by ELISA. In our result, you can see clearly that high soluble ectahoric IBC patients have the worst overall survival and a high incidence of developing uh, brain metastasis compared with low serum patients. Moreover, our multivariable result shows high serum soluble ectahoric level is independently correlated with the poor overall survival in IBC patients. So next, we are aim to understand the functional and molecular mechanism of soluble ectahari in IBC brain metastasis. Based on the structure of soluble ectahari, we generate a lativirus plasmid that construct the overexpression stable cell lines in four IBC cells, including two HER2 positive and two chip negative IBC cells. Next, so we perform the migration and evasion transfer experiments. In our round, you can see clearly soluble ectahari promotes the migration and the evasion in IBC cells. As we all know, during the progressing of metastasis, a no case resistance has been was shot to facilitate the survival of cancer cells that de detach from the pre original sites, thereby facilitating to the metastasis. So we what you know if solar victory also affects the anarchic resistance ability in IBC cells. For this, uh, the cells were treated by Polo Hema for 24 hours, then analysis by flow cytometry. We can see the, the codification examples here. We can see clearly that the solar victory group have uh, significantly uh, inhibited the anarchic cells. Then we move to our in vivo work. Here we use MDA IBC3 cell lines. This cell lines was generated by Dr. Wendy Woods. This cell could form brain metastasis through TLV injection. We inject uh, our control and soluble ectahari overexpression group into t uh, through TLV. Then our result shows high soluble ectahari group have a high instance generated brain metastasis. Also, high solubility significantly enhances the brain mass burden, including, including brain mass number and size. 
Moreover, soluble ketohydrate group have worse over survival and brain mass free survival compared with controls. Also, we often we performed another IBC cells, CUM149 cells in vivo study. For this cell, we in inject a control and a soluble ketohydrate group through intracardic. The cells were labeled by GFP. If you so look at our picture, you can see clearly GFP labeled brain mass size and number was significantly higher than those in control group. The quantification results show in panel B at C. Or similarly, the soluble uh, overexpression through 149 group have worse over survival at brain mass survival compared with control group. Additionally, we also want to know whether soluble ketohydrate affects the tumor micro uh, brain micro environment. For this, we first uh, we examined the, the glyphosate acidic protein positive exercise. This is a hallmark of brain metastasis. Uh, in our in vitro experiments, we can we when we treated the human exercise by soluble ketohydrate recombinant protein, we can see clearly that the Active reacti uh, the astrocyte reactivation was significantly higher than the control group. This data also validated by the Western blot. Furthermore, we also uh, per validated this data in our in vivo tissues. We stain in GFAP, uh, GFAP in our brain tissues, we can see in the soluble ectahara group, the GFAP positive astrocyte was significantly higher and uh, more than the control group. But uh, how soluble ketohydrate promotes IBC brain metastasis is still an answered question. For implore this question, we first want to know, we, we first want to fi uh, try to find its, uh, the functional partner of soluble ketohydrate to address this question. From our mass spectry and bio-ID experiments results, results we see solo uh, XIP maybe can serve as a partner, uh, binding partner of soluble ketohydrate. Then we do some, uh, do some experiment to validate this data. In our ex-journals and endo-journals that shows soluble ketohydrate could form the complex with XIP other physiological condition. Furthermore, we also map in the domain between soluble ketohydrate and uh, XIP. Uh, in the panel A, we can see clearly that soluble ketohydrate could interact with the BR2 domain of XIP. And the XIP is uh, at uh, apoptotic protein. It could induce, through induced NF kappa B, that inhibits tumor apoptosis. Also, our, in our uh, gene, set, uh, gene set enrichment analysis, that shows uh, NF kappa B pathway was highly enriched in soluble ectahory overexpression group compared with control group. Importantly, our Western blot also validated this round. Uh, in the soluble ectahydrate group, it, we can see clearly that XIP was significantly higher than the control group. Also, we saw soluble ectahydrate activated the uh, NF kappa B pathway at the same time inhibited the cleaver cancer pathway. Uh, in conclusion, uh, uh, first we choose high serum soluble ectahydrate independently predicts for poor over survival in IBC patients. Next, the solubicatory promotes brain metastasis, probably while activation of XIB of kappa B signaling in IBC, and the promotion of reactive astrocytes in the brain microenvironment. Also, solubicatory is a potential therapeutic target and biomarker for patients with metastatic IBC. Uh, at the end, I must say special thanks to my uh, mentor, Dr. Bishret, and our dedicated IBC clinical and MD Anderson. And also thanks to all the collaborators and funders who help us uh, obtain this wonderful result. Thanks again.